Hello and welcome back to my RC channel. I'm Andy RC and today I'm going to dismantle the H107D Plus and see what's inside. Bit of a disclaimer here, I don't encourage anyone to do this. The quad is precision built and is very tricky to take apart and especially tricky to put back together. I'm doing this because, as I mentioned in a previous video, the camera lens seems to be out of focus. As I have a fair bit of experience messing around with these two megapixel camera boards, I'm taking the risk. The quadcopter is fixed with four screws on the frame, opposed to just two screws on the previous model. In a bad crash, the previous model would come apart so I can see why they have done this. With the props off and those screws out, we can lift the lid. Be careful, we have these extremely fine plastic washers that can easily get lost. They are like contact lenses. We then have these rubber grommets holding the motors in. The motor wires also have some clamps to keep them in place, so we need to lift the wires out of there. The LEDs are so tiny and the wires snap instantly, I had to solder a few back on when messing about with this. Those tension fit into the frame and are extremely delicate. We then have four screws on the top of the flight controller. We undo those and keep the screws very safe. The flight controller then lifts up and we have this black frame that holds the battery in place. Be careful as there's a ribbon connector which connects to the FPV camera. On the past model, these were notorious for burning out due to too much current. We have to be so careful with this tiny camera. The ribbon cable is really long and just a few bends and it will stop working. The ribbon cable detaches really nicely, however at present there's no spare parts so modifying the lens is a really risky job. I have plenty of quads though and the blurriness of the camera makes this unusable in my opinion so I feel that I don't have much to lose. The stock lens is glued into the housing. I removed the ribbon from the quad and then twisted the lens housing with quite a bit of force which loosened the glue. Eventually the lens started to twist out. I removed every trace of the glue on the thread of the lens. This is important. If you don't do that then the lens will only screw in as far as it did previously and we will still have a blurry image. It was so tricky to find a way of focusing this lens. I used a tiny elastic band to attach the battery to the flight controller. I left the camera in its housing with the camera and ribbon lifted up above the aircraft so I could twist the lens to focus it. I turned on the FPV transmitter and turned the quad on and I used the FPV screen to see if I was in focus. It's a disaster. It seems the focusing issue with this quad is a limitation of the lens. The sweet spot of this lens does not focus to infinity. Luckily, we do have an option from my previous modifications to the H107C 2 megapixel camera board. I have used the 80816 lens. I got reasonable results with it in the past. I have a spare one lying around, so I gave it a try. As predicted, it fits perfectly. It's also 120 degrees field of view rather than the 90 degrees field of view that comes with this stock aircraft. I dabbed some hot glue onto the lens so that it doesn't move once I got it in focus. The focus is much better, the same as my old H107C modification. We don't get any more of the props in shot either, which was a worry I had. The only thing I noticed is that indoors we get some reflections off the LEDs of the arms. If this bothers you, then you can easily add paint or tape to the sides of the LED housing to eradicate that. I'm going to leave it though, I can use it as a nice indicator as to when my battery is running out and land before the aircraft tries to land for me. Each time I mess with this board, in the back of my mind I was expecting the ribbon to fail and the camera stop working. So far it hasn't and I won't be touching it again. As said before, I don't endorse anyone trying this mod and if you do, please take into consideration that it could brick the camera completely. It's really sad that I needed to do this mod and I have checked other people's H107D Plus videos on YouTube and they all seem to have this focusing issue and they will, it's a limitation of the optic shoes. So there you go, that's my disassembly of the H107D Plus and also focus correction by using the 80816 lens. I hope you enjoyed the video, please continue to subscribe, cheers.